Hey everybody, it's Hunger again, and today we're going to be doing a little something different for my 500 subscriber special. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a tour of my game room, so here we go. <laughs> Alright, so here's what we're working with. <laughs> Alright, so first off, I got my board games. You might see a few that you recognize. Maybe a few that you don't. <laughs> all, the, all this stuff down here is Magic the Gathering. <laughs> it's literally all magic. Got, uh, got some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff over here. I'm going to try not to be in the... I'm going to try to keep my shadow away from everything. It's my Yu-Gi-Oh manga collection. I'm missing a lot of it. <laughs> Going on over here, we got my wall scrolls. You got uh, Blue Dragon and Final Fantasy VII. Uh, unfortunately, the Blue Dragon wall scroll is from the anime. So it has Buffet in there. <laughs> I hate that character so much. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I just don't like it. Uh, anyway, I got three TVs in here. One, two, and three. And they're connected to all my various different game systems, most of which are over here. You got the Fat PS2 the GameCube and the Nintendo 64 and then underneath that we've got my NEX and my NES games and then we got my Genesis over here on its own little shelf and then uh, we got my little little tchotchkes, little collectibles, this guy fell over for some reason got my ba bombs and Mario stuff there my uh, Yokai watch plushies <laughs> uh, Got a Skyward Sword Link. I was kind of upset when I first got this figure uh, because he's designed to only hold his sword and shield in one particular hand. I mean, you could technically put the sword in the other hand, but the shield is set up to where it only fits real. It only works properly if you put it in that particular hand. So it kind of ruins the effect <laughs> if you try to do it the other way. And Skyward Sword was right-handed, but I just kind of wanted a left-handed Link, you know. Got my uh, Zelda manga. <laughs> we got uh, Pokemon stuff up here. Uh, those are those are Pokemon ha Happy Meal boxes in the back. Um, Happy Meal boxes. There are some of them that are actually worth a whole lot of money because people that collect the Happy Meal toys like to display them in the Happy Meal boxes. We got. Uh, my banks, you got Pikachu, Pokeball, Eevee, you got a little ash hat. <laughs> and then we got my Pokemon plushies. I've only got three Pokemon plushies. I got uh, the uh, Litten that Suicune Rider sent me in the mail, and uh, Crobat and Clefairy. And Clefairy, it's an okay plushie, but uh, unfortunately, it's uh, its hands aren't quite right. It's got these little stuffed animal hands instead of its little clawed fingers like it's supposed to have. And then I got the, uh, these are the Burger King Pokeballs. I did not, uh, I did not return my Pokeballs that went with those when they were recalled. It's a Record of Agarest War box. Uh, the box was the best part of the game. Very misleading packaging. Got a Shadow Man from, uh, the Retro Roto Mega Man series. Let's see, what else? Yeah, um... These are the Pokemon Burger King toys. I'm going to try and keep my shadow away. But, uh, Burger King McDonald's toys, as well as other just random toys there. Let's see if I can get the, get the shadow out of the way so you can see some of that. Got the cups from Burger King when they did the uh, toys for Burger King. Strategy guides, manga. A couple of VHS back there, the Pikachu's Winter Vacation. Uh, Yokai Watch figurines and, and swag. Uh, then down here we got more strategy guides. There's some more Pokemon stuff. Um, Pokemon uh, video game cases. All kinds of those. And again, some more Pokemon Burger King, McDonald's, and various other toys. And down here we got more strategy guides. Some controllers, my Game Boy Advance. You know, 
that's my Game Boy Advance SP. I have a regular Game Boy Advance as well. And then uh, these boxes down there are full of Nintendo Power magazines. So I have the first issue in there. Totally. Uh, got, got a lot of them from my friend Siege. Uh, it's my GameCube uh, video games and various accessories. Um, I got some drawers over here. They have some Game Boy Advance games in them. And then uh, over here, we got more game cases, uh, various other packaging on display. It's my Nintendo DS, GameCube, Xbox, um, more Nintendo DS, <laughs> more Xbox 360. And over here we've got uh, Game Boy Advance, PlayStation 2, uh, more PlayStation 2, PSP. And then we got some manga and uh, DVD cases. Uh, also some uh, Weiss Schwarz boxes. You know, they're empty. And then uh, CD cases. <laughs> oh yeah, we also have uh, PS1 games over here. This This shelf is mostly empty, aside from... Aside from that, don't know how well you can see that, but uh, anyway, this is a this is a PSP charger uh, charges the battery by itself. Uh, let's see, Project Cross Zone soundtrack, <laughs> uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Wall Scrolls. <laughs> um, I don't play the Yu-Gi-Oh card game anymore, but I was really into the anime and the manga uh, when it first came out. Uh, not so much anymore. Don't care about Yu-Gi-Oh! Zeal or any of the other new stuff. <laughs> so yeah, here's kind of a wide shot from the corner of the room here. So you can see how everything's situated. Uh, that cabinet underneath the TV there, that's mostly magic cards. <laughs> There's some other card game stuff in there as well, but yeah. This is, this is supposed to be like an all-encompassing game room. It's all the video games and card games and whatnot so that when I have friends over, we can maybe set up a table in here, play a card game, or just uh, get in one of these chairs and uh, play some video games. So, you know, it's just kind of a kind of meant to be a hangout spot. Honestly, uh, eventually, I'd like to have more stuff on the walls. <laughs> maybe a couple more wall scrolls, uh, more gaming-related stuff. But uh, for now, this is what I've got for my gaming space. Uh, this is not where I record. I record in my room. It's a completely different animal in there. Uh, so this has been my uh, 500 subscriber game room tour. Uh, thank you all so much for being with me through getting to the first 500 subscribers. Really appreciate it. Really looking forward to getting that next 500, getting towards uh, the current monetization goals. Hopefully those stay in place until I get there at least. And they don't move the goalpost on me again. But, uh, again, thank you so much. Thanks to everybody who subscribed recently. Thanks to everybody who's been subscribed since almost day one. And uh, it's been my pleasure entertaining you thus far. And I hope to entertain you a lot more here in the future. And as always, I hope everybody has a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>